everybody. This video is about using this toolbar down at the bottom, which can help give you access to some important things that you use frequently in Second Life. Um, you can customize this in any way you want. I've got it set currently to the defaults, and I don't necessarily want all of these buttons here, and there are some that I want out, and there are some additional ones that I want in there. So first of all, to remove buttons that I do not want, like the walk, run, and fly, I don't care for this interface to walk, run, and fly. I use my physical keyboard, which is much easier to control. It's actually very difficult to, uh, to walk uh, using this interface. I would not, I would not recommend it. It's, it's not the easiest way. So uh, I use the keyboard. So I want to remove that one. So I'm right-clicking right-clicking or whatever the equivalent is in Mac um, and removing this button and it's gone now the walk run and fly is gone I also uh, don't need the how-to anymore so it's just wasting space right now in my toolbar so I'm going to right-click on that one as well and remove this button now I want to add some buttons down here that are not currently in here so I will right click on any button, it doesn't matter which. And oh, and by the way, you can choose icons only. So this is what it looks like with icons only. If you right click any button, you can choose icons and labels or icons only. Well, icons only isn't descriptive enough for a lot of people and people don't necessarily find these informative. So I normally keep it icons and labels. It's just easier for me at a glance. Okay, so also to add buttons, you will right click on any button that's there and go toolbar buttons. Now these are all the other buttons that I can add if I want to. And all you do to add it is left click on the button, like I like the map down there, okay? So I'm left clicking on map and holding it and pulling it down, then these blue lines appear and there it goes next to camera controls and now map is down here and now I can click map finally and access my world map easily rather than going up to world world map and there I can see there's me there's another person on the island I can see the island that I'm on and etc so that's a handy handy button to have on the map interface I use it all the time uh, I also like preferences down below so I'm left clicking on the preferences button and putting it down there as well Preferences is where we, of course, can adjust our graphics or our sound and media that I've talked about in some other videos. So that's that's something I'm using all the time, too. So I want, I want that handy down in my, my toolbar. So that's pretty much all there is to modifying the toolbar. You can actually restore defaults if you wanted to. It says you cannot undo this action. You can. You can simply, you know, redrag what you want down below you know from scratch so don't worry about that or notices like that I don't know why they they word it that way it's 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 okay if you if you undo it so see it just it just resets it back to the old way and then once again you know removing the the buttons that you don't want and so forth okay so have fun playing with your toolbar it's it's pretty easy you can't mess it up uh, just keep playing with it till you like it. You can actually put something in between if you want. It doesn't have to go at the end. Um, if I want preferences over there, it can go over there and so forth. So you can actually put something over to the right if you want it. I don't know why, but maybe you would want the gestures over there for some reason. So uh, that's that's all there is to it. Just have fun. Try not to be so anxious. Just Just have fun with it and explore a little bit. You know, experiment with it. You really, you, you really can't break it. Don't worry about breaking something. It's it's all okay. It's all good. Just adopt like a playful attitude toward it, and it'll be a lot more comfortable uh, for you in no time. So have a good time, and I'll see you in Second Life.